project came about when we hosted a uh, open house here at Viking Cooking School. We met this wonderful man named Chris, and he kept pestering me about this event. So I decided to contact him later about it and say, how could we be part of this wonderful Glenview Giving Foundation charity? And so I, we talked back and forth for a while, and he finally said, what if you did this? And he came up with the idea of designing a beautiful cake. And it was entirely up to how we designed it and what we put on it. Uh, one thing led to another, and we started talking about sponsorships and the sponsors that we were going to decorate the cake with. And the cake sort of evolved into one thing and then the next. So after meeting and talking with my pastry chef, I said, you know, this guy's got great talent. Like I've said before, one of the best chefs I've ever worked with. I want to do something special that he can really showcase his talents with. And I thought, I'm going to turn this project over to him, and Tom will actually, it's his vision, it's his idea for the cake, and he's the one who really created this whole concept. Well, Pete came to me, he's our lead instructor, he came to me and mentioned the, uh, the foundation, the Glenview Giving Foundation, and that we wanted to do uh, a cake for the, for the event. So the, the genesis of it was just something that, that's going to feed a lot of people and make a statement. I think the size is going to make the statement, hopefully, and it, it, when we're done, it, hopefully it looks nice, too. That's the key. We had a couple of ideas, um, and there were seven main sponsors, and we decided to use them as sort of the main focus of the cake itself and, and how we were going to design the top of it. So it's sort of a Valentine's Day theme with the hearts. Each heart represents each of the sponsors. There's seven hearts on top of the cake. And sort of in a balloon theme. So we're, we had the balloons on top of the cake. Um, across the bottom is our banner, is the banner of the Giving Foundation. And each of the heart just goes up to each of the seven main sponsors. Well, one of the things we struggled with most was how to get the logos onto the cake. And we just came up with, with the idea of doing a photo cake, which you can get at a lot of bakeries now. And we went to a local resource, and they uh, printed up our logos for us for the, for the cake. And we just incorporated that on top of each of the heart cakes. So we needed to, to figure out how to design the cake so that we could actually assemble it. And we were basically building it in 16 pieces. Um, 16 sheet cakes. We basically put, put the, the 16 cakes together on a, on a large sheet of plywood. It's a four foot by roughly six feet, so it's a big cake. And we just assembled it and got it together the day before the event. And uh, the difficulty was in scale. Well, each cake weighs about uh, eight pounds when it's all sudden. That's just the cake itself. And then there's about a pound and a half of frosting per cake. So that's Nine and a half pounds. There's 16 cakes, uh, so it's about 160 pounds for the cake, all told, plus the heart cakes, which are maybe a couple of pounds each. So that it's probably close to 200 pounds of cake. It's a lot of cake. There's a lot of a lot of eggs. There's about eight eggs per cake. Um, it's about a pound of butter in each cake. So 16 pounds of butter, 128 eggs, give or take. All told, probably 30 hours of work, probably for the whole thing. It really comes back to the fact that everybody who's part of the event gave freely of their time. Um, nobody got any money for it. It was basically just to, it's something that, it's, it's good to give back. If you're, in, if you're in the community, you need to be part of that community. And I don't care if you're a... If you're a shoemaker, or if you're a wine store, or if you're a, a restaurant, everybody needs to be involved in the community. Well, the, 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 we're still trying to decide how to move it and get it to the, to the hotel, to the event. Um, we have a couple of options. We can put it on a cart and wheel it, because we're, fortunately we're close. Uh, one of the other chefs here has a large vehicle, a, a, a truck. We may just put it in the back of her vehicle. Um, but that's a bridge we have yet to cross. So. February 1st, you guys will be enjoying the cake. <laughs>